You could chill. <laughs> That's why it's called Big Chiller. You could chill. It's a mic. Yeah. Oh, this is dope. Oh, yeah. I you could chill. Remember. What was it called? Uh, I never got... I never... Uh, this is my first pair of, like, these. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten, like, shoes before. No? I've always been, like, a Converse, uh, Vans kind of guy. Really? But then, like, this whole year has been very blessed. Yeah. That I just... I was just like, you know what? I, I, I've i never want... You know? That's yeah. good. So I got, like, I think, like... A little budget going on. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the shoes that I want because yeah. that I want it, you know. Uh -huh. But that's it. I don't. I'm not like. I'm. I'm gonna get like 20 shoes. Like. I had to stop. I actually haven't bought shoes in a long time. Cause how many pairs do you have? I don't know, like over 20. I mean, that's not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot for a, a girl. Lot, uh, compared to a lot of people, but you know, like I had to stop because you know how. Um, it's like Foot Locker was doing the raffles. Mm. I was winning like every fucking week. <laughs> oh, but you have to buy the shoes anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's hard to win the yeah. raffle. And there's a lot of, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, those things, they do have the shoes. Yeah. And they just like, oh, like, yeah, supposedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll just give it, like, they'll be like, oh, you won this time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I remember my homie, he was like, hey, uh, I'm trying to get some shoes to resell them. Uh -huh. uh, go to the website and, and get them, you know? And he was like, if you get them, just, you know, sell them to me and, you know, I'll, I'll resell them. Right. So I'll give you a little bit. I, I got, like, three pairs. I'm yeah. like, dude, like, you know? Uh -huh. But I guess he was trying to get, like, to through different accounts okay. and stuff. Okay, yeah. But, damn, 20 shoes is not a lot for a girl. It's not a lot, but maybe 20 or maybe a little bit more. Yeah. But, yeah, shoes I definitely, like, I prefer sneakers over, like, heels any day. Oh, okay. I'm okay. not a heel girl. Like, what, kind of, what kind of shoes do you like more? I like um well obviously Jordans mm. but I like the um the Yeezys they're very comfortable oh, okay, okay. very comfortable I think that that's really? the most comfortable shoe that but I've they're ever ugly worn. though mm -hmm. they're ugly but they're comfortable I never tried I don't think I would ever you got them yeah yeah I, I, okay I like those in black and red really yeah oh with the red uh -huh. yeah those are the only ones that I would mm -hmm. probably just get mm -hmm. but to be honest I've never been like Are like I'm telling them? you I was always like Converse yeah yeah Vans. And maybe like a Nike shoe. Más simple. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's it. Because when, even when I was in middle school, I would get like um, Converse. Uh -huh. uh, fuck it. Payless and shit, you know? I mean, I rock Payless too when I was little. And then my yeah. my dad just was like, I think I told him because I think somebody was like bugging me about it. Like, oh, you wear Payless. I was yeah. like, because hmm? I like them. Okay, yeah. you know? I didn't like them. I just didn't have a choice. <laughs> and he was just like, you know what? I'll, I'll get you. He got me like a Nike, like the Harachis, mm -hmm. the, the new ones. Yeah. Uh, I mean the old, the first ones, uh -huh. and then uh, I think he got me like three pairs of like Air Forces. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, cool, like. Yeah. But I I I just went went back to like Converse mm -hmm. fans because they're just comfortable, you know. Yeah. But I'm really? telling you, I just I just started getting like. I can't do Converse. No, mm -mm. they're so comfortable. And they're not. Not low top. <laughs> like not not the not. low top. Yes. Yeah. The high top, I would say to wear them with jeans stuff too. But mm -hmm. it's just like. The low top is just easier. No, I to I put on can't. without tying them, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, no, they're not comfortable for me. They're not. You have never had a pair of Converse. Yes, I have. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've had Converse. I've had um bands. I yeah. had Payless shoes too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, those are. Sh hey. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel about? Look, like, by the way, we haven't even started. Okay. We're just making a little conversation <laughs> too. You know what? Welcome back to another episode of Big Chilling Podcast. Today we have episode fifteenth. Fact about a podcast: usually they always fail after episode seven. Oh. Yeah, so we're in episode... This is actually episode... No, no, no. Never mind. I have one in the vault. Uh -huh. So this is episode 16. Oh. Yeah. So I okay. think... Yeah, um, last week on Thursday, I had the homegirl Gina, the one episode mm -hmm. 14, the one that I just posted. After that, my homie came. So that was episode 15. Okay. So shit, we're more than halfway. Yeah. So I, I, we might be doing something, you know, very... Special for episode 20, so... Well, congratulations. Stay tuned, stay tuned stay for that. you made it thus far. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do want to thank you for coming through, you know. I know sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit of your time to come. Uh, seemed like a pretty cool girl, so I was like, you know what? Let me give her a little DM, see what she what she thinks about the podcast. And you responded real quick. Yeah, what thank made you. you. What made you respond real quick? Like, 
You know what? Because I've actually been thinking about doing something like this myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of getting the feel for it. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. So it's and and it's funny because a lot of my friends I always I talk a lot of shit. Yeah. Can I curse? You could. Yeah. Okay. Fuck, bitch. Because <laughs> there's a lot of Everything. there's a lot of people that they're like you can't curse. Yeah. So um. There is there is a podcast where you can you can curse and they just bleep it out. Oh, okay. I leave everything. Everything. Up. Okay. Because I like to be raw about it. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so my friends would always be like, "You should do a podcast. You should do a podcast." But mm -hmm. no me, no me animaba, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I went to La Hora de la Pistela, I was like, "Oh, this is pretty cool." Like yeah, so you then, seem like a little bit loose. Yeah, about it. yeah. So then I was like, then when you reached out, mm -hmm. I was like, "Why no, not?" No, the best thing to do, uh, like to even start a podcast is to do that. To yeah. go and and you know experience, experience it, it first yeah. exactly, because uh, a few of my friends that have come to the podcast, mm -hmm. they want to do it too, but. Yeah. As soon as I invited them, they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, because I want to get the feel. Like, yeah. what what equipment do you have? Yeah. And they'd be getting surprised that I'd be doing it on the phone. Yeah, I was yeah. shocked, too. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. that's cool, though, that you're yeah. able to do that. Yeah, no, no. And the editing, too. I do have a MacBook Pro, which I read in Valde. Mm -hmm. But I always edit everything on my iPhone. Nice. It's easier. Yeah. You know, it's easier. I got all the... All the um, Like, let's say if I want to put, like, a little meme here, mm -hmm. you know, I have yeah. it right there, you know? <laughs> yeah, because I used to vlog back then. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so green screen things, you know, like, the whole subscribe part, like, everything was on my phone. And you don't vlog anymore? I stopped after I went to Chicago. Uh, I think it was vlog 45. Uh -huh. So, it, like, I think I was Damn. vlogging for two years. Right. And I guess I got a little bit tired. And I'm not going to lie to you. I got in a relationship. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was sometimes. paying attention to, sometimes, you know, yeah. I was paying attention to the relationship, mm -hmm. which was a good thing. Yeah. But I really do miss vlogging, mm -hmm. which I think I'm going to start this weekend. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to a Kings game. So I'm going to see, you know, who yeah. I go with and like do a little, a little bit something. A know? little vlog. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, so we were talking about earlier. <laughs> What do you think about people, you know, man? <laughs> uh this is funny because it's true and it, and it is happening it is happening where men are taking last names of the female you know the yeah. wife what do you think about that i don't i don't agree yeah <laughs> to each his own but for me mm -hmm. it's like do you think it's like i'm not saying degrading <laughs> and stuff but do you think it's like taking off like the webbles from the man <laughs> a little bit yeah, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that, I don't know. I You know, it's a very sensitive subject, mm -hmm. I feel, because so many people feel so many ways, and I feel like the world is just now so sensitive. Yeah, it is. You, know? you cannot say nothing. You can't. So it's like, for me, it's like, I don't want to say the wrong thing, mm -hmm. but I don't agree with it, mm -hmm. because it's like, I'm giving you my last name. Yeah. Like, what else am I going to do for you? Yeah. Like, you're the man. Like, I know, like, I would say, like, the traditional way, but even people f don't fuck with the word traditional now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm still very traditional, yeah. I feel, to a certain extent, you know? Yeah. Um, but, like, it's like my dad tells me, like, tú cuando te cases eres harina de otro costal. Yeah. So what does that mean if I give you my last name? Yeah, like, that is you're true. my costal? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is true. No, but it's funny, too, like, And I don't know, we might have a little disagreement, but that's what we're here for, you know? Right. About, mm -hmm. like, little topics and stuff. Mm -hmm. But... Usually when a guy says, you know, I like a traditional girl, you know, that, you know, that when I come home, you know, the food's ready, which I think is cool, yeah, you know, cool. like, and let's say I'll wash the dishes, you know, mm -hmm. it's cool, like half yeah. and half type shit. But then the first thing that they say is like, oh, do you know how to build a house? Do you, you know, know? they say, oh, do you know how to build a house? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, no, but I could change a tire. Okay. You know, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could, I could, um. I could, let's say, fix the door. Uh -huh. I could fix the toilet. You're you know? handy around the house. Yes. Okay. You know, because... And not I, a lot of men are yeah, handy. Yeah, but at the same time, now, it's like, who the... Like, it, if you're a construction worker, you're going to build the house. <laughs> but if we're not construction workers, we're not. Yeah. So, I'm like, I think that part, when females say that shit, I think that's stupid. Como que se pasa. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not telling the girl, like, um, like let's say something... Girls just like, oh, do you shut up for your man type shit? Yeah. Of course not, you know? Yeah. But it's like... You should be like, ¿Y tú sabes hacer tortillas from scratch? Amaro, <laughs> yeah, la vida. Do you? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, where mm -hmm. where are you from, by the way? I'm from Linwood. Uh-huh. So I grew up in Linwood, Compton. I went yeah. to school in Compton, and then, um, and then, but I lived in Linwood mm -hmm. all my life. So part of my life, I spent it in Compton, and then the other part in Linwood mm -hmm. growing up but my parents are Mexican oh, okay, okay. Yeah. my dad was born in Culiacan and he was mm -hmm. raised in Mexicali and my mom is from Tijuana 
Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. My cousin's from from Culiacan. Oh yeah. 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 What well, he says. <laughs> he says <laughs> you know those, those little kids that be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, from over there. I'm from. And I don't think yeah. he has ever been there, but I think his dad's from. Oh, there. that sucks. Yeah. Because Culiacan is pretty fun. Yeah. I love going. Do you go often? I don't go as often as I would love to. Yeah. But yeah, when I was a kid, we mm-hmm. used to drive there all the time. But then mm-hmm. it just got really dangerous, so we just kind of stopped. Um, mm-hmm. So now we just fly Oh, that is true. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How's your traveling life looking like? Right now, no traveling as much as I would like to. Mm-hmm. But there was a point where I was going places, not like nowhere crazy, you uh-huh. know. But yeah, I like to travel right now. I can't, you know. What's the most like uh, dopest place you have been? Mm, I don't know. Dopest? Mm-hmm. From the places that I've been? Like. It depends. Yeah. Because, look, I've been to New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I had a fucking blast. But, mm-hmm. era puro desmadre, you know? Yeah. Ghetto shit? Ghetto blast? Or, like... You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. ghetto, but it was fun. Yeah. And it was fun because it was, like, a miniature Vegas. Yeah. Somewhere else, though. Uh-huh. <clears throat> it was fun. It was a different experience. It was, like, a different culture. And oh, was, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was really cool. So, I like that for that. So, I felt like... There's not, like, a, a place that I'm, like, oh, my God, it's so dope. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like cada lugar tiene lo suyo, you know? Yeah, it, it, sometimes it's not even about the place. It's about how fun you have in yeah, that place. Yeah, exactly. Because you could be, like, in the most dopest place ever and, I have, and have a shitty-ass mm-hmm. day. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Mm-hmm. Like, the only place that I've ever felt like, damn, I want to keep going back is this place in, like, Northern Cali where I was living. Like, okay. that place is fucking beautiful. What, 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 what's it beautiful, like? For, it's, what like, you... full of nature. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah. it's, like, it's um on the coast, so it's, mm. like, you get the redwoods, but you also get the ocean. So you get, like, the... That's dope. Yeah, you get, like... Yeah. The what's the name of the place? Um, I was in Eureka, but it's in Humboldt County. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, it's, okay. like, 10 hours away from here. It's oh, still, okay. like, four hours and a half up from San, San Francisco. Oh, so it's more up. Yeah, it's more Like, up. close to Portland? Uh, Yes and no, because I feel like for Portland, you still have to drive in. Mm. So, I'm, like, right off the coast. So, it was... I was right off the coast. Like, you're saying mm. I'm right off, like, I'm there. But, um... Okay, it's, like, maybe two hours away mm-hmm. from San Quentin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Never so, been there. <laughs> but, I hope you never go. <laughs> but that's where, like... As soon as you say San Quentin, yeah. people be like, oh, that's way yeah. up there, you know? Do you think that a lot of people know where that is? Because I didn't know that was over there. No? No. What? San Quentin? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you know, you know. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. This street, Floral. Yeah? Was the street where Blood In, Blood Out was filmed. Oh, wow. And the 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 mural is literally like down the Around street. The... I don't know if you guys saw it. I think I saw it. I yeah. was like, wait, that mural looks familiar. And the Pino's like right, right here. There? Have oh, you guys ever seen that go. movie? Yeah, yeah so, of course, it's a classic. So, so when the, when the like Paco, Miklo, and and, mm. and uh, and like the other fools are getting chased by the police, uh, where the police makes a cut, they pass through here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So it's like when I found this place to live on, I was like, oh shit, this is. You're dope. like this is historic. Yeah, because I, I I go I go um I go running, <clears throat> mm-hmm. so I always pass by the mural, you know. Yeah. Or when I leave. To where my job, you know, mm-hmm. like I always pass it, so I like that. Like, yeah, you know, it's like a little, and it's dope because a lot of people respect that. Yeah, you yeah. know, like nobody paints for over it. it yeah. Like it's dope, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a part of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they say, the pino is like part of Easter, like yeah, type, you know. But I don't know about that, you know. Mm-hmm. But I do want to tell you the store, Cinco Puntos, mm-hmm. have good tortas. Really? If you ever get a chance. <laughs> Try them out. I'm going to have to once I'm eating meat because yeah. right now I'm not eating meat. Oh, that is meat. true. You're you're <laughs> vegan. For right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. How, let's talk about that. Let's what, talk about okay. it. So what made you become vegan? So I'm actually studying kinesiology, which is like the movement of the body and all that uh-huh. stuff. So I had a class um, that had to do with like fitness. Mm-hmm. So um, in this class, our professor like told us that we should watch this film. It's on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Um, But it's about all these, like, athletes that started going plant-based. Mm-hmm. So they're like, oh, you know, once I went plant-based, like, I-, I felt, like, so much stronger. Like, I could go harder in the gym. I could lift more, blah, 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 etc. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it mm-hmm. because, you know, I work at night. And then I wake up early to take my kids to school sometimes. And then um, 
I go to school during the day, so I'm like tired. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let's try it out. Let's try it out for three months and let's see how I feel. How long have you been doing it? Two months. How do you feel? I actually feel pretty good. Like I do feel that I do have a little bit more energy. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like my skin looks a little bit better also. Oh, I, that is true because yeah. my homie, I have a homie, he actually came to the podcast on mm -hmm. episode four. He was, he's very into that. Yeah. And he told me like, yeah, because he has a beard too. He's mm -hmm. like, my beard is uh, more healthier. Mm -hmm. My skin is glowing. Yeah. Like, I feel like, and he, he's very like, like he's very careful with the things that he eats. eats yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been, you know, I feel, I feel like the first month was a little mm -hmm. easier. But then cuando te pones a pistear and all I would that. think that the first two weeks were, like, hard. They weren't for me. No? They were actually pretty easy. Wow. And I think what made it easier is that my sister's a vegetarian. Mm. So she was, like, okay, okay. she was excited when I told her, mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm going to try this out. She's like, hell yeah, because, you know, even she though she's... That. Yeah, she's like, yeah, because even though she's vegetarian, yeah. like, it's hard for her to, like, meal prep, because it's hard to meal prep oh, yeah. when you're not eating I meat. I do that, I meal yeah. prep. But, it's, you know, meal prepping with meat, I feel it's a little bit easier, because mm -hmm. you're like, okay. Oh, yeah, because I do have, um, the, it's like beef, corn, yeah. I mean, no, uh, sorry, um, mm -hmm. ground beef, mm -hmm. corn, uh, white rice, and it goes, like, with a little, like, uh, dressing of like thousand nine. Yeah. So it's like that's like very, and like black beans. Uh huh. So it's like delicious. It's, it's good. really good. I've had that yeah. before. It's bomb. Yeah. Yeah. So I also have like let's say uh buffalo chicken, mm -hmm. which is like buffalo chicken, mm -hmm. white rice, and with like the dressing and like with um with I think it's like broccoli. Yeah. So it's like it's easier, like you yeah. said. Because I probably wouldn't be able to just eat Plants. yeah it's hard yeah it's hard and they have artificial meat like mm -hmm. it's like fake meat but i told my sister i don't want to do that because it has mm -hmm. so many condiments in it have you been to monty's have you heard of monty's in vermont i feel like i have mm -hmm. it, it sounds familiar yeah mm -hmm. it's in vermont it's a, a burger place mm -hmm. and it's plant-based mm -hmm. but i was thinking like i always say that like if you're a vegetarian why are you like eating something that yeah. it's Lives like a meat, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like I might eat a cow, but it's plant based. Yeah, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's like I didn't get that part, but yeah, but yeah, like I think the first time that I no, I I do remember the first time that I did a meal prep. Uh -huh. I did the meal prep. Yeah. I did the chicken, the white rice, and the broccoli. Yeah. Two weeks in, I felt lightheaded that I had to go to a dope ass place, got myself a torta. <laughs> and I just felt balanced. Yeah. You know? He's like, I need that. No, was because like... it was just like, I was feeling like lightheaded. Yeah. I thought I was just going to like pass out. I was like, no. So I literally drove all dizzy. I was like, <laughs> as soon as I finished that torta He's and that michelada, yeah. I felt You're good. You're like, I'm good. We yeah. can do this again. So I was like, okay, look, every, <laughs> once every three weeks, I'm going to come and, like, eat that and then just go back to yeah. And I, like, the next day I went back to, like... But that was a little bit more harder. Just, like, you... Do you meal prep your own things? Not right now. Do you no. order it? Um, no, I mean, I'll cook my mm -hmm. stuff, but it's, like, really hard for me to meal prep when, um, when my schedule's, like, so crazy. You oh, know? yeah, that is true. And then it's because this is also new to me, you mm -hmm. know? So I'm kind of, like, trying to learn, like, what I can eat. And I feel like ever since I've done this, like, I'm obviously more hungry. Like, mm -hmm. I get hungrier, yeah. you know? I would think that you wouldn't because when your body gets used to something, mm -hmm. it just, like... For example, now I eat once a day. Yeah. I used to eat three times a day. And that's bad. That's what I'm saying. one time. No, 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 no. Because it's called fasting. Oh, yeah, fasting. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So but I, but then they say like if you don't eat like yeah. your body of course starts, like... I eat like little snacks like I'll eat like a uh, a banana oh, okay an apple so throughout you're the day like, between meals yeah and okay. then like I'll eat like I'll drink um like uh water mm -hmm. uh then I'll eat my food right and then like I'll eat it again the next day oh okay so, yeah because I used to you don't get bored of your food no because it's so <laughs> dope it's so dope the place where I order the food they oh, it's sure. all, it's very authentic <laughs> uh -huh. so it's like they make it. Like like somebody cooking it for you. Oh, okay. I used to order from a place where it looks like like you open it, it's like like it was made in a factory. Oh. So it's like I was just like it. Even the meat looks like plastic. Yeah. But supposedly it wasn't. So I started to order from another place, which was like ten dollars a plate. Uh huh. I'll show you right now. 
and it's like delicious. Uh-huh. Like it's like uh, it's a better quality. Yeah, it's yeah. like they make it for you. Yeah, yeah. And even like the labels, they write it for you. Wait, what? What is this place? It's called uh, I think Holy Macro. Oh, okay, have you ever heard of Every Table or something like that? No. Oh, fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to order from Factor though. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have ever heard that. I it's haven't. a commercial. Like they, it's a lot of commercials of it. Yeah. But literally, for I'm telling you, it was like plastic. Okay. The the. The meal was like seventeen dollars. Exactly. So I used to pay like I used to pay like one twenty for like six plates, mm-hmm. and now as I said, I used to order ten meals, mm-hmm. so I'll pay a hundred. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, I was like, I felt like I was eating. Yeah. And it was like every week, yeah. you know, ten meals. So now I order five meals. Oh, okay. So let's say I uh Sundays they Sunday they arrive I eat one meal that day mm-hmm. and then let's say by Friday I'll be like you know what it's like my little cheat day yeah. I'll go and get like some sushi your torta and no your... no I don't I stopped <laughs> eating I, I stopped eating that yeah I stopped eating that and mm-hmm. I feel way better yeah I, I love I love that. Mexican food yeah my land my food I love that shit but it's bad so where's your family from you didn't tell me it's right there oh from Acapulco yeah. I was gonna ask you that yeah earlier. it's from Acapulco nice. yeah. All my family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're not so, from Culiacan. No. <laughs> my, well, all my, my my best friends from Michoacan. Oh. Okay. And usually the homies that I know are from like, uh, Zacatecas, uh-huh. Culiacan, Michoacan. Okay. So I like I you know I fuck with the corridos. Okay? <laughs> you know I fuck with the corridos. Yeah. For What's sure. your favorite type of music, by the way? <clears throat> I don't know. I I think it's like whatever mood I'm in. But I listen to corridos a lot. Yeah. What kind of, What kind of corridos? <clears throat> There's difference. Yeah, I mean the classics and the newer ones, the mm. Ricos. <laughs> do you like Do you like Natal Cano? Mm. I like some of his music. Yeah. Junior Archer. I do like him. Yeah, yeah he has dope music. Uh, he does have dope music. Fuerza Regida. I do like them too. Yeah. I actually just went. Um, hey JOP, come to the podcast. Come shit. to the podcast, yeah, JOP. <laughs> JOP, come on. <clears throat> yeah, I went to go see them. Who Fuerza Regida? Yeah, in uh-huh. July. I Where took at? my daughter uh, right there at the um that stadium. Come see my stadium, is it? Is not the Toyota? No, Arena? no, they're gonna be there in uh, this this month. Oh, okay, okay. But in LA by the Coliseum, where the LAFC. Oh, is it the SoFi Stadium? No, come see The bank. The bank. Oh, no. where the LAFC place. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Bank of America. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I went to go see them. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. It was dope. It was dope. Yeah, I what's, took my kid with me, and she had a fucking blast. What's the best concert you have been on? Ah, the best? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Mm. Mine says Los Temerarios. <laughs> yeah. I went, I took my mama. Yeah? She had a blast. I went to go see Los Bukis. Those are oh, those. Oh, yeah. 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 La Macontu Solis has a voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when my mom was young, she was, uh, I think she was like 15 or 16, because she had me young. Yeah. Literally, uh, I think she was pregnant. Yeah. And she went to like a concert. And literally, she, like, this was in Acapulco. Yeah. She had no money, you know. She was, like, on the side. Like, you know, you know. Yeah. Literally, the, the main the main guy, I don't know if his name is Rodolfo oh, or something know. like that. Yeah. Uh, she was, he was like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I don't have no money. He's like, okay, come up here. So, like, literally, she, she was off stage, really? you know. And when I, took, when I took her, like, last month, she was so excited. Oh, that's I was dope. like, that's It shit. took her back, huh? Yeah, that was, like, heartwarming because I was like, oh, like, you know, yeah. like, my mom loves this music. Yeah. And I even t- took uh, took her to go see uh, Los Angeles Azules. Oh, really? Yeah. She liked that, too? She loved that shit, nice. too. It was, like, back-to-back weekends. Yeah. So. Oh, so she had a blast. Yeah. You know what? But to answer your question, the best concert that I've been to had to be Vicente Fernandez. Oh. Yeah, Vicente. Did you cry? I didn't. <laughs> no. But you know, it was fun. It was yeah. it because you know, just to see somebody like that, yeah. it's like Hey, shit. that old guy still gets wait, he passed he away. He passed away. He used to get bitches. He used to get bitches. Yes. <laughs> but it was so dope because like his voice, you know? Yeah. Like el se puso el micrófono el micrófono like acá and he was like singing and you could hear no him. Yes, it was fucking insane. I mean, he's been doing that his whole life. His whole life. Yeah. yeah. So I think that was like the best just because it's like how many people could say that they want to go see this icon. That you is true. Me? Where did you go see him? I went to go see him, I want to say maybe 2008, 2009, mm-hmm. when they were still doing concerts at the amphitheater in, oh, okay. um, at the Gibson. Yeah. And then I saw him after my daughter was born. So I'm going to say like 2013 at the Staples Center. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Packed. 
Yeah. Yeah. Esta vez me tocó hasta arriba, but I didn't give a fuck. I was it's like, funny that you say that shit because <clears throat> when I took my mom to see Los Temerarios, <clears throat> we were like literally, I think for that, for that concert, I spent like almost $600 yeah. just to get it as close as I can. Yeah. And it's funny because she, as I said, this was my first time taking my mom to like a concert. Yeah. So she was like very excited. And it's funny because once we got out, she's like, oh yeah, like I really want to watch, like see uh, Shakira. Oh, and I was like, I don't know if I got the budget for <laughs> yeah, that. I'm you know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. But uh, well, we'll talk to the fellow <laughs> about that. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what I can do. Yeah. Maybe I'll get you one ticket. I'll wait for you outside the parking hey, lot. Hey, maybe you could do it in the near future. There we go. Me. Yeah. But. I don't think she she be because I did go look. Mm-hmm. I was like, look, if I could get her all the way up there, yeah, at least, at least, you know. Yeah. But I don't think she performs over here oh, now. She doesn't. Now, no, like I, I think this know. year, yeah. Yeah, she'll come back. Yeah, and then my my sister, my little sister, she saw that I took my mom. She's like, oh no, I want to go see Lana Del Rey. Uh-huh. I was like. Y'all, you're like, y'all, y'all expensive. expensive. Hey, I was w- like, women. I, I knew I shouldn't have started this shit. I should have got it by myself. Women, we expensive. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, do you celebrate your birthday? And wait, let me ask you this, okay? My birthday. Yeah. Do you celebrate your birthday? And do you think that it's necessary for a person to celebrate their birthday? I feel like yeah. Why? Why wouldn't you? Why? There's a lot of people that don't. Yeah, I think you should. Like it's you. Like, yeah. You're you're your own person. Yeah. You're brought to this earth on this day. No, of course. Yeah. Celebrate it. You know. Yeah. And if somebody else is not gonna celebrate it for you, then you do it yourself. No, of course. Yeah. You know? But do you think it's like it's like necessary? Hell yeah, it's necessary. Yeah. It's just yeah. like a little like. It's like boom. me. Like, it's my birthday, <laughs> bitch. I'm important. <laughs> Are you the type of person that celebrates their birthday for the whole month or the whole week? Um, you know what? My birthday actually kind of sucks. Yeah. Because my birthday is like during the holidays. Uh huh. So when does it fall? On the 29th of December. So Ooh. it's like right after Christmas, right before New Year's. So it's like really. A I, three day peda. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of hard. Like, because yeah. sometimes I feel like I don't want to plan my shit. Mm. Like, sometimes I feel like, damn, do something for me. You know what I I'm saying? I think two times throughout <clears throat> my life, people have. Well, two women mm-hmm. um, have planned shit for me. Mm-hmm. And that shit does feel good, you know? It does feel good. But yeah. it's like, as I said, like myself, you don't I just be chilling, to yeah? be honest. There's chilling? so many times where I've been here watching TV, I'll be like, man, let me see this really? shit. Really? And I literally, hate like, that. this year, no, but not, it's not like. Some I feel like sad that's so shit. depressing. No, but that's the thing about it. It's not because it's like. <laughs> it's like another day, yeah, another, another day. Yeah. And, and if I don't celebrate it, I don't get to get that. I don't get to be that age. Really? You know, so. I low guess. Key, I'm still I guess fuck, that's a good way so to I'm look still, at it. So I'm still five. I'm celebrating <laughs> all my years. I don't care how old I get. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So for me, it's like, I don't like to sit yeah. in, the, in my room. Like It's not a bad thing. It's not, birthday. it's not. It's just like, let's say, an opinion of a, uh, like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. For me, no. I, I feel like. What's the longest celebration you have had? For my birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> my whole life, my, every day. <laughs> here's your gift for Christmas and for your birthday. Fuck you, Damn, bitch. Maybe just, that's the thing about having a birthday on December. Yeah. Maybe you know fucking, what? You be getting bamboozled by that shit. Exactly. So I'll be like, I'm gonna show up on the fucking birthday too. Like, oh yeah. here, is it is your birthday gift yeah. and your Christmas present? What you mean? <laughs> Christmas is far. Hey. Look, I'm gonna come on Christmas. I'll see you guys on the 29th, and then I'll get on the exactly. 31st. Exactly. Y'all know? better have a gift for me. Yeah. <laughs> double, have you ever gotten that double gift? Um. Yeah. Yeah. From my family, oh, of course. you know? Yeah. From my family, like from my parents. Damn, my y'all sister. must be like very gre- like grimy for sneaking that little mm-hmm. gift. Like, hey, this is for Christmas, but, <laughs> but your go. birthday was like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's be I like, know it was your birthday, but you know, the kids. <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> I got you I got you a, a more expensive gift, so it counts for two. Nah, I'm mm. I want two. I want two. Yeah. yeah. And you know what's crazy? That mm. um, when I was finally going to celebrate my birthday, yeah. like super dope, um, I was going to throw a buchona party because I've been wanting to throw okay, a party okay. like you still that have forever. It? I haven't been able to do it because it was like... Dur- Invitas. I will. Okay. It was like during COVID season. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man, ya había pagado yo el conjunto que iba a venir. I was going to oh, have, shit. I was going to have like gambling tables. Uh, I had left a deposit for that. I had left a deposit for the photo booth. I had left, I had bought a bunch of liquor. And you ain't getting that shit back. I am sure not. I lost money. Yeah. I had paid um, the taquero. Like I had already like distributed my money Everything. everywhere. Yeah. I had the, um, the, the girl who's going to come make the drinks unlocked the bartender everything 
everybody started getting fucking COVID. Damn. And I'm like, fuck. And my cousin's like, fuck it, throw it, throw it. We'll go. And yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm not about to spend all this money <laughs> yeah. for 10 fucking people. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing it. So that shit was so sad. Yeah. Because I was like... <laughs> How much do you think you spent, like, on deposits? On deposits? I want to say that on deposits, pues el puro conjunto me salió like 350. <sighs> I want to say that maybe from seven to a rack. Damn, just that's deposits. a whole rent. That's a whole rent. Yeah. What the fuck? And because I, I was going all out. Yeah. I went to downtown LA. I bought rifles and shit. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. I bought right. Ri- look on just fake guns. I spent like three hundred dollars. That's Chapel Junior right here. And you feel me? I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna come out with my fucking Versace on and my say damn. hello to my little friend. <laughs> Tie shit, huh? Yeah, and then I spray painted them gold. Oh. Yeah. So I was. Have like, you seen the movie? Uh. Uh. I think it's called uh, End of Watch. No, I haven't. No, you haven't? Uh-uh. Have you? Good Man, movie. there's like a fucking AK-47 made of gold in that yeah? movie. And those ones are like... Well, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> you had that shit. I had like 20 re- of them. I recommend that movie. If you yeah? haven't seen that, I'm I recommend gonna watch it. it. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but yeah. I recommend it. I'm going to have to watch it. Comment down below if you guys have seen that movie yeah, before. It's I haven't. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'll make sure to watch it. Yeah, no, it's pretty dope. It's but pretty yeah, dope. so that's what happened to my birthday. Damn. Got, like Sad hours right there. That shit was sad. Depressed. I was like, fuck. I can't get my money back. And now I'm like... Did you ask? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course I asked. I was like, hey, it's COVID. Hey. They're like, no, don't worry. Whenever you want to reschedule, mm-hmm. like, we got you. Did they all tell you that same thing? Yeah, except huh. for the conjunto, which, I oh, mean, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, you yeah. know... And what happened? You never, like... never like. And I just was like, you know what, whatever. Yeah. But, I, I mean, once it hit, it was just like, everything was fucked, yeah. to be honest. Like, yeah, once that Because that shit took, like, I would say, like, eight to nine months, like, yeah. to actually, like... Yeah, because I like to be very prepared. Yeah. So, yeah, my mom makes fun of me because even when my daughter, like, I'm like, her birthday's in April. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'll, in August, I'll start buying shit for Get her Get yourself birthday. an agenda. It's important. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. So, I'll start buying stuff from now. Like, mm-hmm. I like to just, like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is the idea that I have. So, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that. So, I like to prepare myself with time for mm-hmm. any party mm-hmm. that I'm throwing, you know? So, yeah, so that, uh, man. Hey, my birthday's on August in case you want to plan some shit. <laughs> <laughs> August what? 28. You're not, you're not a Leo no more. I don't fuck, no. <laughs> Virgo. You're a Virgo. My yeah. sister's a Virgo. How do you get along with your sister? Yeah, you know, we're different. Yeah. But I feel like as we've gotten older, we've kind of like. I mean, that's where every bond. sibling does. Like, mm-hmm. uh, usually when, that, that always happens. Yeah. You know, same thing with my sister. We yeah. get along so good. Yeah. You know. After she turned, like, 15. Yeah? No, yeah. when I was 15, we still didn't get along. I feel like now that I'm, like... Older. Amigas y rivales type shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see that one? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What, kind of, what, kind of, what was your show growing up? Like, like, like stuff like that. Rebelde type, you know? You know what? I was never really a Rebelde fan. I no? think that when Rebelde came out, I was kind of, like, over the novelas. Mm-hmm. But when I was little, I remember I used to watch uh, Abujetas de Color de Rosa. Oh, I remember that. I love that fucking novela. I thought, so, you, were, I thought you were gonna say, uh, what's it called? Um, ¿Cómo se dice la, la, la novela? ¿Cuál? La que dice, oh, Alebrijes y Rebujos. I don't know if you're. I don't. You don't like, it sounds one? familiar, but I don't remember yeah. it. Yeah. But oh, I, Viva los Niños. I don't know if you heard that, of that one. Do you remember Carousel de Niños? Yeah. Yeah, that one too. I that was a bagger. That. Yeah, I used to watch that. So, yeah, for me, like, the, the Abujetas one was dope because they used to ice skate. Mm. So, I wanted to ice skate, but we didn't have the money to do yeah. so, so, you know. Had to go no to ice the, skating for me. They had to go to the, um, to the kitchen, uh-huh. put some Fabuloso, put some water. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's your skating rink. You know what's crazy? Because we used to have rug when mm-hmm. I was little. And I used to like put on my socks. socks and act like I was like gliding yeah. in the fucking... <laughs> the fucking Olympics yeah, right there. Like, <laughs> do my little spin. That shit was crazy. Yeah. No, uh, what's it called? Um... I mean the best the best way to do that is socks on like uh, <laughs> on on wood. Well, I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> hey, you look, shit. Hey, go we go live go. your childhood. I'm gonna heal my childhood there traumas. Go. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you gone to the skating ring on on what's it called on Maple? Is I've it? only no. been ice skating one time. Did you fall? Mm, yeah, I did. One I time hurt. I fucking I was going. Mm. I tripped and putazo. 
And I got up thinking that I just lost all my fucking teeth. You didn't? Nah, That's good. That shit was just like cold. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah. After that day, I was like, man, no, fuck this shit. No ice cream yeah, for no. me? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, ahorita ya no. Ya se me pasó eso. <laughs> Yeah, so what 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 are you into right now, like, with your life? Like, besides, let's say, work, mm-hmm. uh, you, you did mention that you have a, uh, a daughter. Mm-hmm. But let's say something that you enjoy, like, that's, <laughs> like, that, let's say, a little, like, getaway type shit. I don't have no getaway right like, now. Like, drawing type shit. I, I'm not good at drawing. I wish I could draw. I can't. Draw a stick figure to save my life. No lie. <laughs> let me see. Let me see what's the best. You see my skills. Let me see what's the best. Uh, what's the best drawing that you could do? Okay. A fucking heart. A fucking heart. Hold up. I can't draw. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna tell her something. Let's see if she could draw it. Okay. Okay. Tell okay. me something to draw. All right. Draw. Let's say uh, a car. <laughs> a car. Any type of car that you want. All right. She looks laughing. Any type of car. I'm gonna take you back to elementary yeah. school. It's gonna be like a box and like two circles on the bottom. Oh damn, girl! Get it. Your shoes. Like, like that's how she got a concussion. I, I gave myself a concussion. Uh, concussion. You know yeah, that saying? video. That video. Yeah. See now you could put that on there. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be there. Shit. Oh yeah. my god. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a box. <laughs> We'll put the dry right here, right now. Let me see. I'm gonna do a low rider. A low rider, yeah. <laughs> you gonna put the little wheels like that? Little you want some spokes on the uh, wheels? <laughs> it's gonna be like what's it called? It's gonna be um. <laughs> it's gonna be a fucking lunch. <laughs> a lunch. <laughs> Look, I might even draw somebody yeah. in there. Uh, An astro. Damn. An astro bed. That's probably would have been easier. <laughs> she's gonna be. She's gonna draw like a little stick figure right there. Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> The stick figure with one arm coming out the head. <laughs> coming out the head. All right, y'all ready? All right, all right. No, not yet. We're going gonna... to put it right here. I see. Aquí lo vamos a poner aquí arribita. Para que lo miren. <laughs> she just saw. Oh, nah. This is terrible. You got look, you gotta look up here. Like, I'm looking at it right now. What? You're drawing. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. No. So we're looking at your drawing right now. Okay. How's that looking like? Why is this, why is it so small? <laughs> I couldn't jump. I'm not done. Have you seen Have you seen those uh the the the, the, the those cars from like Winnerstritzels like the the win- the the hot dog? <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> that should look like a UFO. <laughs> Do you see the little guy though? Those are the aliens that they found in Mexico, no lie. Oh my god. That's how they came. So yeah, there's your there's your See, drawing right there. I can't draw. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that shit's lucky dope. That shit is not dope. Don't be trying to give me don't be trying to get me excited she, over it. She even drew a door. <laughs> Damn. She don't even know the name of it. It's because there was also Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yeah. yeah. So I used to fuck with Mortal Kombat and with um with that Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. What's your favorite character in Mortal Kombat? Uh, the fucking sexy bitch. I don't know her name. Uh, oh, sexy hoe. That's yeah, sexy hoe. <laughs> and then the bitch with the... I think it's Katana. I think so. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And then the one with the hat, like the, the gray hair. Oh, you're talking about um, Fuck. Lord something. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember their names. Yeah. <clears throat> but Street Fighter, Chung Li, of course. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I want to dress up like her. Did you ever see that movie. live action movie? I with never John did, actually, because I don't want to be disappointed. So it was dope. It's dope. No, it's actually dope. It's actually dope. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's like the origin stories. I think that she's a reporter. Okay. And then she came to the fight, and then she just got like the like, little donuts. Yeah. And she's like... Da, 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 da. Her little... With her little leg. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. yeah. You can even hear her clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> She was going fast as fuck. That's what it was. That's what it was. That little saw you here? Yeah. That's the clitoris that's right there. That's mac and cheese. That's not for that's not the... Mac and cheese. That's not frijolito right there. If her shit don't sound like this, yeah. drop her. I don't want that shit. Yeah. Oh if, she ain't, she, if she ain't sounding like mac and cheese, cut next it. meal. <laughs> Boy, you need to cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, okay, so we have a segment here called Scary Story Time. I saw that. Okay, you like that shit? Uh, I liked it. Okay, uh, do you have any <laughs> scary stories that like has like that, that ha- pasado? has happened to me? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I feel like I've had some little, you know, little encounters or whatever. Tell us about that shit. 
Um, okay, so... <laughs> well, it just depends. Like, I feel like I've been in little situations, but I haven't been scared. Mm. So, there was one time where I was at my homegirl's house, and um, I was sleeping in her living room. Careful with your leg when you bang. Oh, yeah. Suena. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My fault. <laughs> Cut that. So, I was at my friend's house, um, and I was sleeping in her living room, and I was, like, with the kids. Damn, I'm not a real friend. La mandaron a la sala. Nah, she has a big family, oh, whatever, no, no, you know? I, and I didn't care. Like, they always treat me like family. Yeah. So I slept in the living room with the kids. And it's crazy because the kids have their own room, but they wanted to sleep with me. So I was yeah. like, all right. So they're, like, sleeping with me. Mm-hmm. And I feel somebody, like, laying down with me, right? And I'm like, okay, like, it's the kids. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, like, entre dormida, like, volteé. Porque sentí que se paró. Y cuando se paró era un niño. Like, that fool was walking away. Damn. And I was like... But that kid didn't live there. That like, kid didn't live there. And so I told my homegirl sister the next day. I was like, hey. She's like, what happened? Mm-hmm. Like, it's kind of like she already knew. I was Ooh, like... <clears throat> I was like... They fucked you over. <laughs> they knew about that nah, shit. No, I feel like... I feel like we're just so kind of like spiritual yeah. that we kind of know what's up, you know? Mm-hmm. So, este, um, so I was like, hey, anoche, she's like, ¿qué pasó? ¿Quién mm-hmm. te habló? Me dijo. Damn. And I was like, no, un, un niño. Le dije, uh-huh. estaba acostado conmigo y se paró y, y se fue. You know, mandilón. Yeah, no, it was a little kid. It was a little kid. Like, yeah. I want to say he was like five years old because yeah. I saw him. Estaba, he was short. Um, and he was wearing like a white shirt yeah. and like some that was shorts. a straight out ghost right there. Yeah, and then he walked away. Yeah, and le dije no, pues estaba acostado conmigo y se paró y se fue para. Se aburrió, dijo. Para el hall. <laughs> se dijo está, está la floja. Fuck that shit, se va. Yeah, y se fue. ¿Dónde está la que vive aquí? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. La otra. yeah, but that shit was that was crazy. But I wasn't scared. Yeah, it was just because like, it was just like what the fuck type shit. Like, yeah, and then I I have this picture that I took with me and my daughter one time when she was really little. Yeah. And I kept seeing, like, I kept taking pictures, mm-hmm. and I kept seeing this little green light, like, floating in the pictures. Mm-hmm. And in one of them, like, it's me and her, and there's, like, an image of, like, a guy in the oh, middle shit. of Do us. you still have it? I, I have to look for it. If you I do, if you send it, it, we'll put it right here. Yeah. I'll show it All to right. you. Yeah. I'll send it to you. I It's on my phone somewhere. Because yeah. every time I find it, I screenshot it, because I'm like, bro, this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, did that happen here? In the... That happened here. And it's crazy because during that time, I had a friend that passed away. Mm. And um, I don't know if you've ever felt like there's a presence. Like, you don't ever feel like somebody's with you? To be honest, I haven't. No? Okay, no. so I felt that before. Mm-hmm. I felt like somebody... How did that feel, though? Like It felt like, for me, I felt like somebody was watching me. And no one was mm. there. Tú, tú nunca... Pero con mal de ojo, así como evil or no, like no 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 like i was you. i was at peace but i was like somebody's watching mm-hmm. me you don't ever feel like somebody's watching you and you turn around and somebody's watching you like you don't feel eyes on you like well just that the is, if it's a real person yeah, yeah, yeah but not like so that's how i felt though oh, okay, i okay. felt like that like i felt like somebody's watching me mm-hmm. so i'm like and i kept turning around and nobody's there nobody's there and i'm home by myself with my yeah. baby because at this point she was a baby yeah so i was like you know, like what? What's up with this? What's going on? Yeah. So somebody told me that it was my homie, that oh, he shit. was like being with me, like yeah. protecting me, and like because okay, me cool. and him kind of had some unfinished business. Mm-hmm. So once I did what I had told him that I was gonna do, como que ya me dejó en paz. It was mm. kind of weird, yeah. Oh, como una promesa. Uh huh. Like oh, I had, okay. I had told him something before he passed away, um, and then when he passed away. I still had it. No le había cumplido lo que yo le dije mm. que, le iba, que iba a pasar. Entonces, I feel like he was just coming back. Like, mm. like it's mm-hmm. it's crazy that you said that shit because <clears throat> something happened to my mom. Mm-hmm. She was uh she works in downtown LA, mm-hmm. so it's like a little uh, factory and stuff. Yeah. So she was walking, <clears throat> and she saw she saw like this this like cholo guy, you know, mm-hmm. but nobody would see him. Mm-hmm. So she sends that energy. And turns out that he was, he had already passed away. Oh, wow. So the guy told my mom, like, hey, can you do me a favor? Because he says that that she was able to see him. Yeah. So she's like, hey, can you go to this address, you know? It's my where my wife lives, you know? And tell her to not worry too much. Tell her that I'm okay. 
Mm-hmm. So my mom literally went and drove like I mean she didn't drove she took the bus yeah. all the way to like imagine this this is downtown like yeah. she went to like a hundred and fucking sixty something street mm-hmm. and um she went to the house and she told the lady like literally every detail like yeah. hey your your husband this person send me he said to not worry about him he's yeah. okay take care of the kids take care of the the kids names mm-hmm. um he said to that you have to move out of this place because the people that did that to him uh like, are, still want to do yeah. something to you wow and she's like oh it's because i don't have nowhere to go this and that he's and my mom was like he literally like looked next to him to oh, her so he, he was still like with her yeah and he was like hugging the girl and she's like, oh, ahorita te estás te está abrazando, te está dando un beso. Oh, one second, let me. Uh-huh. Can you pass me that control? Thank you. Look, talking about rain. <laughs> that's it, look. You that's, see? that's just program for that shit. Spooky season. Spooky season. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to continue, okay? Hold on. Ooh, this is <laughs> Spooky season. Hold on, let me take a sip. He's like, I got to sip for this story. <clears throat> so... Uh, so cuando fue, she went to the to the house and everything. Mm-hmm. So that's what he told her. Uh, she was like, "Oh, he's next to you. He's hugging you. Mm-hmm. He's kissing you right now. He's telling me not to, to tell you not to worry. Right. And he knows what you're going through. Go to the closet and look on the third bar of the wood and open it. And he said he left something for you. So she, the late the girl was like, "Okay, hold on." She closed the door, and she went. She found 50K. Wow. 50K. Dude, your mom was an angel for her that day. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, literally, the mm-hmm. lady was, like, I think she was trying to give my mom, like, 10K. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, here, thank you so much. She was like, no, 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 I just came to, like, deliver that message. message. You know, and uh, thank crazy. me. Thank me by leaving. Like, yeah. because that's what he's telling me. Yeah, to do, for you. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's crazy. That's Have you ever seen the movie Ghost? Yeah. That sounds like some shit like that, huh? Yeah, there's also a show called Ghost. Yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and you know what's, what's so crazy? That a lot of people don't believe in that type of shit. It exists. I it, feel like... It really I, does. I feel like the, the, the undead and the and the living like are like this. It's just like we can't see them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so when we see, like, ghosts or when we feel something looking mm-hmm. at us, it's literally there. Yeah. But it's, it's just presence. like... It's just yeah. like the the... The energy, because yeah, we're like energy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like we're energy, yeah. so it's kind of like. I don't they know. say that when you put too much attention to the case in matter, mm-hmm. that's when they appear. Because yeah. you're like focusing and you're like attracting them. Attracting them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't even know if that was the case with me because he had literally just passed away. Yeah. Yeah. He had but like you said, there was unfinished, unfinished business. business. Yeah. So as soon as you took care of it. Yeah. So, I, and I, you know, and I feel like he's still with me sometimes, pero ya no lo siento como lo sentía. Yeah. And it's crazy. Tal vez solo, solo te besita para, yeah, like, check that you're good. That I'm good. And then I have another friend, too, who passed away before I had my daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, And, he, oh, my God, he was just, like, such a beautiful soul. Like, I feel that that's the death que me ha dolido más out yeah. of all of my friends that I've lost. Because there was a year where I was going to, like... Funerals, like if I was going to weddings, mm. it was crazy, like back to back to back to back to back to back, and I was just like, this is wild. Of like, like childhood friends. Yeah, like people that I grew up with in high school, and I'm like, dude, I'm only 18, and I've already buried like 10 people. Like oh, that's shit. wild, you know. So I've never been to one. <sighs> yeah, it's not a, it's not nice, you know. Yeah. Especially like my friend that passed away. Um, he like. He was, like, one of those people who was always woke up, like, motivated. Mm. El siempre que me miraba, he would be like, what are you doing? Like, he would, like, he would see so much in me that I didn't see in myself at that time. Would you say it was one of those friends, those friends that would check on you? Yeah, and he would check me, too. Because there's not a lot of people yeah. like that. and he would check me all the time. It was to the point where I would get annoyed to see him. Because I would be like, oh, my God, he's going to tell me. Ya me va pendeja, get your shit together. Yeah, get your shit together. Like, what mm-hmm. are you doing? Like, there's so much to life. Like, él siempre me hablaba mm-hmm. así. And ironically, the shit I hated the most is what I missed the most, you know? Because mm-hmm. now I'm like, damn. You know like, what you, what you exactly. lost. Exactly. I'm like, and, and it was just like, he was such a person that was so full of life that it, it really sucked to lose him. Yeah. Y él me visita. Mm-hmm. El me visita mis dreams, like, when I need him a lot. And that is true. That is true. When I need him a lot, like, 
he appears. Mm. He appears, and it's crazy because one time I was going through, like, a bunch of crazy-ass shit, mm-hmm. right? And I was just so frustrated, and he comes to me in my dream. And he's just, like, smiling at me, and... I got that attitude, like, that I used to get when I used mm. to see him. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you yeah. want? Like, what are you going to tell me? Like, yeah. yo le estaba reclamando. Yeah. And he was just smiling at me. He's like, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Like, he wants to be your piece, I would say. Yeah, exactly. And like, I feel like he is my piece. Yeah, like saying, okay, you know what I'm here for. I'm not going to tell you nothing. Yeah. You know what to do. Take care of that Take shit. Take care of that shit. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's so dope. for me, it's like, you know. Message right there. Message. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's yeah. for real. Because as I said, like there, that's literally a, a a form of communication. Like, yeah. like you already they already know mm-hmm. what the fuck they're there for. Exactly. And you, they already know what you're gonna do with that information. Exactly. And you it's know? crazy though, because sometimes I would dream them randomly, and I'm like, oh, okay, his his tombstone stuff dirty. Yeah. I'm gonna go, and I'll then I, when I go, it's fucking dirty. Yeah, like so I clean them up and like, whatever. Yo, clean my shit up. Yeah, like clean my shit. Where, where you been at? Yeah. 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 So I'll go and I'll clean his shit up. But it's like whenever like I don't get that face like. Like, mm, mm-hmm. you know what the fuck you're doing? Yeah. And then, like, he just appears. I'm like, okay, he wants me to go. Solo clean para, oh, para visitar. Yeah. Like, oh, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Don't forget about me. Yeah. My shit dirty. Sure, my it's shit been dirty. raining. <laughs> We're take me a modelo. I do. Go. I do. I take him his little beer, and I chill with him for, like, two, three hours. Oh, that's and, dope. Yeah. yeah. And my daughter knows who he is now, even though she never, like, met him oh, in life. Okay. Yeah, like, she she goes with me, and mm-hmm. she's like, oh, we're going to go visit so-and-so. And I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's where I go when I'm, like, stressed out. Like, I go to him. Yeah, it's like your your uh, your piece right there. Yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. And it's it's crazy how a person that, that already, like, left this earth gives you that piece. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it is kind of crazy. It's like I told my, my cousin, because he just lost his... Um, his friend recently mm-hmm. like a year ago it's like i told him i was like you know people say that you get over it but you really don't yeah i'm like uh it just gets easier it gets easier yeah, yeah. it gets easier sit sit oh, fuck what was that word that i told him i was like si se hace más fácil, pero no se supera. Mm. like you never i don't think you ever really get over it especially when they died so young because it's like you live your whole life without them mm-hmm. and there's moments where you're like Oh my God! I wish you were here. Like, and there's a lot of people that there's a lot of people that don't understand that. Yeah. And they say, "Oh, they finally moved on." Yeah. And I was like, "No, like I just, I'm at peace with it." Yeah. It still hurts. Yeah. But, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Type, you know, it's like you fully never really let go. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Because it's like for me, for when I graduated college, because I w- I told him like. You know, I talk to him mm-hmm. or whatever, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I know that you always wanted me to do something. Mm-hmm. And da, da, da. So when I graduated college, I went to my, I, I had my ceremony. I went to go eat with my family. And that was the, the place that I went to. Mm-hmm. I went and I was like, I fucking did it. I was like, two more. I owe you two more. Hey, that's dope. You that's know? dope. Yeah, and I could have been anywhere, but I was yeah. like there. Would you say that that's one of your main motivations? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Besides, like, my daughter, like, yeah, because I know that he, oh, él siempre me implicó eso, like, Mm -hmm. like, you have so much in you that you can do, like, what Mm -hmm. are you doing, like, stop sleeping on yourself, Mm -hmm. like, you know, like, there's so much that you can do in this world, and I feel like, my mom tells me sometimes, like, you're fucking crazy, Mm -hmm. like, why do you live like this, and I'm like, because I have so many people that didn't get to live this, Mm, that's true, so for me, it's like, I'm living for myself, but I'm also living for the people that are no longer here with me, there's a lot of people that have described that before, yeah, it's it's crazy that you said that, because I've heard people say that, oh, I'm traveling, because, you know, I'm living for this person. Yeah. This person wanted to be here. This person wanted to go here. I'm doing it for them. Yeah. And that's crazy because, as I said, like, they, when, wherever you go. They're they go. with you. Yeah. yeah. So that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. So that's that's some deep shit right there. That is fucking deep. <laughs> <laughs> that Message. Is. Yeah. Message yeah. right there. Yeah. 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 So, hey, I know this is a stupid ass question. Uh-huh. Ask me a stupid ass question. It's crazy because she's been here for like an hour. Uh, yeah, What's yeah. your name? <laughs> For like real. my government name? Yeah, if you want to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say know, we, my like, government we know, name. We know her as CC. As CC. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to keep it that way. Okay, okay. Because I don't want nobody coming to the club talking about, hey, yeah. I don't want nobody to feel like they know me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I feel like it's my like, name is... It's like say yes twice. 
<laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> CC. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, like, I don't, yeah. I feel like my name, only certain people know it, and only, it's like CC. I never mm. really went by CC nowhere else mm. besides with my friends, mm. but then it just kind of just became Fitted that way. It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, if you don't need to know my government, like, yeah. you don't gotta got it. You don't are gotta you comfortable, have to know it. Are you comfortable talking about, like, your, your lifestyle, like, what you do? Yeah, maybe? I'm comfortable with yeah? it. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been? Dancing? Yeah. So, on and off, like, six years. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I started off dancing, and then after I started dancing, I ended up, like, um, I took a break, and then I started waitressing, and then I left up north for a few months, and then I came back, and I just went back to dancing. Mm. Yeah, so I've been kind of like... Yeah. Yeah. How do you like it, by the way? How's that experience for you? It, it's it's crazy. I feel like it's not for everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not I for everybody. I do feel like you have to have that strong... Uh, you cannot be... I don't even want to say this word. And I'm not going to say this shit because people are what? Sensitive. Exactly. <laughs> but you do have to have that strong mindset. Yeah, you have to have a backbone. Because when I first started, honestly, me valía verga todo. Mm -hmm. I would be like, whatever. I'm going to make the fucking money back and da-da-da-da-da. And I feel like a lot of girls get stuck in that mentality yeah. that they're going to make the money back. And tomorrow, I made and make shit today. I spend the fucking four racks on a purse. I'm going to make it tomorrow. And sometimes that tomorrow might not come. Yeah. And then before you know it, you're 10 fucking years in the game. For real. And it's like, what do you have to speak for yourself? Yeah. You know? I, I have talked to girls before. And mm -hmm. um, they come depressed as fuck out of that place. Yeah. You know? Wherever they're working. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy how one of the main things that I heard was, oh, you know, I'm there. I'm making the money. But I just feel drained. Yes. I feel used. It's draining. I feel like a piece of meat. Yeah. And it's just like it. They just get too emotional, but they're not like let's say focus on what it is because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. It's a fucking job. That's what it is, and it's we already know why, why, the guys are there for. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? What that some of these guys be acting like they don't know what they're there for. Yeah. It's like, oh, you just want money? Well, bitch, what the fuck yeah, is you here is for? True. That is true. You feel true. me? Like, yeah. what the fuck? You, yeah. think I'm, you think I give a fuck about your day? Yeah. Fuck so you, let fuck me tell you, you your day. So let me tell you this. <laughs> Don't be taking roses yeah. <laughs> to the cup. I mean, you can't take roses if you was yeah. a trick. No, you feel me? No, what I'm saying, like, but, 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 but they go, like, with the whole, oh, she likes me type shit. Like, it's like, okay. That's yeah. okay. It's yeah. okay for you to think that I like you. Yeah. What's not okay is for you to sit there and talk, 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 talk yeah. to me. And then when I'm like, so what's up? Like, yeah. you want to get a dance or something? And then they're, oh, you just care. All you care about is money. Oh. Well, look where we are. <laughs> where, where are we at, sir? We're not on a fucking dating yeah. app. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's. The fuck you think yeah. this is t Tinder? Exactly. Yeah. You be Swipe on Tinder? Left? Nah, fuck Cause no. you just said swipe left. <laughs> she just said, she knows what I'm, she knows what she's talking about. I was on Tinder one time. Okay, but then I that's when I was like still trying to look for love and shit. On and Tinder. I didn't, and I yeah, I didn't fuck. fucking know. <laughs> I didn't know that that's a page hey, that you Tinder, go just to fuck. Tinder's to fuck. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. You didn't know that shit. I didn't. Inocente. I Innocent. didn't know. Who I had told just, you about I that? I had just had my baby. Who told you about so, that? So one of my homegirls, she's like, get yeah. on Tinder, and I was like, okay. Yeah. And then I was like, why do these people only want to have sex with me? <laughs> oh, you would get those those messages. Yeah. 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 So then how I, many DMs, then I figured how many DMs out, would like, you get? Well, I had people wanting to wine and dine me first. Oh, no, no, you no, feel no. me? But of course. I mean, like, yeah, have their, yeah, their yeah, little yeah. game type shit. I think yeah. I went out maybe with one person. And yeah. then I just was like, yeah, it's not for me. It's just mm. going to happen. How long did you have that app? Not long. Okay. I'm going to say, like. I wasn't consistent on it oh, either, okay, okay. so I, I didn't really give a fuck about yeah. it. I was okay, like, okay. whatever, that's not what I should be focusing on yeah, right now anyway, yeah. you know? So, yeah. yeah. I, so she said, swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe, thinking, swipe. She be all hey, that but, but see, the thing about me is like, yeah. I could like swipe, but I still be like, Mwah. fuck this nigga. Fuck this nigga. these people right here, I don't give a fuck. And you were like, I, you're shit. cute, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever like, like? Did you ever like really like actually saw a picture of a guy like? Oh, I like this guy. It's no. Mm -mm. I want to say maybe the guy when I with. Oh, okay. That's about it. And how was that date, by the way? I didn't like it. What What was the reason? The reason why I didn't like it was because he took me out to eat. Mm -hmm. To McDonald's. No, he didn't. Thank fucking God, no. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? Because yeah. somebody just asked me to, to take me to dinner. Yeah. And I was like, well, where are you taking me? 
And he's like, it doesn't matter where I'm taking you. What matters is the vibes. I was like, well, actually, it does matter because yeah. I'm not trying to fucking vibe at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what if he gets the combo? The large one, too. <laughs> he could eat all that shit by himself. Let me himself. tell you this. I'll take off. McDonald's is not cheap anymore, so let me it's tell you It's not, that. but it's not a fucking five-course meal neither. What would you, know? you consider, like, a first date? Look, I, honestly, like, I think this is the first... You're the first female that I've asked this because, uh-huh. you know, we always have different topics to talk right, about. Right. But for you, uh, and this is not, like, to be exposing you and shit. Just, yeah. you know, whatever your taste is, that's you, and we're all cool with that yeah, shit. Yeah. But what would you consider, like, a first date? Do you expect for a guy to take you, to, like, to a restaurant? or And the reason why I ask you that mm-hmm. is because, I, you know, like, of what, what you said. Like, it doesn't matter as long as, you know, if you like that person. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have seen that meme where, like, oh, it doesn't matter. As long as it's with the person that you're with, and they're like eating a lot. I think it depends where you mm-hmm. meet this person from. What Especially if you already have a me? What if you have that deep relationship with that person and you oh, like them? Oh, if we have a deep relationship, we mm-hmm. can eat any fucking. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't care. Yeah. But if I meet you at work, uh huh, and you're like, oh, I want to take you out. Yeah. You better come with the. You oh, that's come true. That is true. That you is true. You better yeah. come correct. You better take me somewhere nice. Mm-hmm. You better fucking have some flowers no for me, boo. something, no bullshit, you know? Because I'm not taking a night off of work to go eat some bullshit. That's and plus, bullshit. like, I'd rather be making money than to go eat with somebody. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, and I think that a lot of males don't take that into consideration. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't get a paycheck. That is I true. I have to hustle for my yes. shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when these guys be like, oh, I haven't been able to come see you at work. Can I just take you to dinner? <sighs> Red. No, mm-hmm. I don't. I can't pay my bills with a steak, sir. Yeah, that's like, true. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel that it depends where you meet that person at. If I'm gonna date somebody, I would rather not meet them where I work. Of course. Cause like once I meet you at work, my mentality is just one thing. Yeah. It's just the bag. That is it. What am I gonna get from you? And guys supposed to understand that. Yeah. Like you shouldn't be going for the intention of oh I'm gonna meet my love right there yeah because you're not yeah. you know but it's like if i meet you outside the club yeah whatever i do want you to take me somewhere nice yeah. because i i feel like i i've worked myself up to a certain like shit that i take myself mm-hmm. to so it's like like your standard yeah like mm-hmm. this is my standard now because i could do it for myself mm-hmm. like i don't need you to take me to noble because i could take myself to mm-hmm. noble damn what she want you know what i'm oh, saying yeah. but what can what can yeah where can you take me yeah because if we're not like, mm-hmm. do you still believe in love? In love? I do believe in love. Yeah. I really do. Okay. I do believe in love. I, but it just hasn't. Came. Yeah. Maybe. Not yet. My mentality. <laughs> <laughs> but it hasn't came. Do but... you have that toxic vibe? I can't be a little toxic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little. I can't be a little toxic. The way toxic. he shook his head? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I he, thought he was saying what's well, up to somebody yeah, right here. Like... He, he knows what's up. <laughs> I, I can't be a little yeah. toxic, yeah. What's the what's the what's the worst uh type of date that you have been on? Like the, the worst? worst? I'm asking this, what's the worst and what's the best? The worst Let's keep it positive. The too. worst date? Mm-hmm. I think it had to be with the guy on Tinder. I think that was oh, my okay. worst date. Yeah. Because when the person came to ask me what I wanted, like he was ordering for me. Mm. And I was like, Excuse me, sir, like I could order for myself. Yeah. Like that's first of all, I don't even like that shit that you Because he he doesn't know you yet. So, yeah, and I think he was just trying to, like, you know, I don't know. It was know. the it cheapest was just... shit on the menu. Nah, <laughs> it wasn't like that, but it was also like, oh, she'll take a water. No, the fuck I won't. Yeah. I Let me wanna... get the fucking yeah. vodka. I was like, what's up the... with this cat? Like, Bring the tequila. <laughs> yeah, and I love to drink, so oh, for shit. me, it's like, yeah. water? The fuck? Perhaps not. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps no water. Yeah, she she's uh she I think she just quoted the white girls, right? Yeah, perhaps <laughs> for the girl, for, for the lady, perhaps to yeah. sell it. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. not. <laughs> Give me the most expensive shit on the menu All just right. for that. Yeah. yeah. And what's like the best date that you have ever been on? The best date. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I think it had to be with one of my exes he, mm-hmm. for my birthday. He mm. actually did something nice for me. Um, he took me to that guy, the Salbe. I think that oh, was like, sure, okay. yeah, I think that that was like one of the best dates that I've had because yep. I I was just like in a place where I didn't want to do shit, mm. I didn't want to do nothing, and he was like, no, let's go, let's go, let's Temotivo. go, yeah. yeah, like it's your birthday, like how are we gonna not do nothing? And I was just like, I don't want to, like, it was just like a bad time for me, you know. Mm. And he he took me, and it was it was a good time. So yeah. I think that was like one of the best dates that I've had. 
Because mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like guys, fuck, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to talk bad, but I feel like a veces como que, like, ponte las pilas. Yeah. Like, make a plan. You feel yeah. me? Like, for me, like, when I date, I feel like I don't want you asking me, what do you want to do? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. What do, you, what do you want to eat? Like, have a plan for me. Yeah. Hey, be ready by this time. I have reservations. Da 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 da. Okay, cool. That is true. That is true. You know I, what fuck I'm with, I fuck with that shit. Yeah. I, I like to do that. Yeah. You know? Like, I feel like, what the fuck? Like, where are you leading me? Yeah. Because I really believe that a man should lead you. You know, like, mm-hmm. I really believe that. So for me, it's like, if you're asking me, like, what do you want? And we don't have, like, a plan. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have a plan for me. Like, even for dinner, it's like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I don't want to be sitting in the car trying to figure out what we're going to do. That like, is true. Yeah, yeah. You should already have a plan for me. Like, yeah. oh, like, if you know that there's a place that I might like, mm-hmm. I'm going to make these reservations. Hey, I'm going to pick you up at this time. Da 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 da. Be ready. Dress like this. You know, yeah. look like this. Cause you, I, you don't mind, like, a guy telling you, oh, make sure you dress like um, dinner attire. Yeah, no, I yeah. don't mind that. Because sometimes I'm like, what should I wear? Like, where am I going? Like, I'm so fucking should I dress like a sweater? fucking rash? Should I dress like <laughs> I'm going to work? Or should I dress like... Some sweatpants and a You know what I'm saying? Can I go chill? Like... You know, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So I don't mind a guy telling me like, yeah. "Hey, we're gonna go here, um, but you need to look like this." Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. That's not a problem for me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because at least there's you some like direction. a planner. Yeah, I do like a planner. Yeah, I do like a planner, and I like somebody who sometimes tells me like not what to do, but like that, like, "Hey, this is what te we're gusta doing." Un initiative yeah Yeah. because i feel like i'm like such an alpha female Mm. so sometimes i feel like i need somebody to like tame kind of balance me yeah Mm -hmm. balance me out tame Mm -hmm. me sometimes Mm -hmm. yeah i like that shit Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) i like that shit yeah Uh, put me in my place daddy Oh, look, and I'm not even going to ask you that other question because yeah, like, another question yeah. came out of mind. I was yeah, like, you know what? Don't ask me that. Never mind about that. <laughs> don't ask me yeah. that. We don't talk about none of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to continue with that shit. Do you guys have anywhere to go or y'all cool? I'm cool. You? Yeah? All right, for sure. Right. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> Hey, what's the craziest, like, chorro story that you ever had? What? Like, the chorro story. What do you mean, chorro? Like, that little chorro, like, machin? No. Dia? Never? No. You're, t- you're saying that you have never gotten chorro. I uh, no, <laughs> I can remember chorro. <laughs> yeah. Que es comido algo picante, así, like, No, like así que coma y que me dé chorro, yeah, que no. Te así como moto. I feel the only time that I've ever had chorro is when I'm fucking dehydrated, you know? No way. Yeah, but así que... I, you know what? I have a really, like... I don't have a weak stomach when it comes to food. Yeah. I can handle a lot of shit. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So, I feel que de comida... Oh, so you be eating, like, spicy food? Yeah, a little bit. Not, like, too spicy, because it just don't sit well with me. Like, I... A mí no me acostumbraron a comer, like, chile when we're little. Oh, no? No. Oh, yeah, you know on. how some families is a chico? Oh, they be doing that Like, shit. my cousins, oh, esos cabrones. Fuck. Agarraban el chile y se lo comían así. And I, I could never do that. But yeah. that's because my mom never, like, cooked with chile like mm. that, you know? Ya de grande, like, I'm like, okay, but no me da... Like, something light type yeah, shit. Yeah, some light, but no me da chorro. <laughs> <laughs> what's, yeah. what's it called? Uh, okay, so, uh, did you ever, did you hear about the about the aliens that they found in Mexico? I Kind of. I just saw some shit, yeah. Do you believe in aliens? I think I think they exist. Yeah? Yeah. I think that anything exists. I yeah. just feel like... I feel like a lot of shit is, like, hidden you, from us. Do you think that uh, uh, people will be freaking out if they show, like, actually, like... I if mean, I already up. did. But, like, if you saw, like, a fucking UFO... I think... How would you would, feel about it? Me? I would be like, oh, but... Chorro. Yeah, you see me like, chorro. I see. No, I think... I, think, I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I, I mean, suelta. to be honest, I do feel... I do think that there's, like, life... Like, that is, like, more intelligent than us, but I don't feel like they're from outer space. What do you think? I think that, because I don't even have heard, but passing the, uh, Antarctica, there's, yeah. like... There's, like, that, what is that That's called? why they don't allow people to go. To fly, yeah. Yeah, because... The Bermuda Triangle, is that what you're Same thing, about? too. Yeah. No, I mean, that's something else, but it has the same it's thing. It's, like, it's, like, a dimensional hole, no? Yeah. Where you fly there and you disappear. Nobody knows shit about you and you end up in like another fucking dimension. Yeah. Well, there was a plane that... Dimension? That dimension? There was... Dimension. Yeah, dimension. Yeah. Yeah. There was a plane that flew over the Antarctica like this mm-hmm. 
Y cuando le dijeron que se regresara, when he did, he saw like a, a, a like a hole. Uh -huh. And he says that he saw like a city. Like a black hole? Yeah. No, a city. Like uh -huh. with buildings, forests. And everything. And it's like ice. Yeah. But the hole was like another world. Well, shit, there was something on YouTube not mm -hmm. so long ago. Well, I don't know how long ago, to be honest. Yeah. But it was like this guy was in the ocean with a partner. And they had like those things que con el que vas a ver el Titanic. It was something small. Uh -huh. yeah. And they end up at the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. But the bottom of the ocean, it was like round. It looked like there was a river there. Oh, shit. It was crazy. It was like, how is there water on water? Yeah, you know? like you saw like a river. Yeah, it looked like a river. Like, yeah. estaba like, like if it kind of looked like quicksand, if anything. Mm, okay, okay. Like, okay. it was like a circle, and they're like, kind of like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it looks like there's a river within this water. Like, probably was like an upside world. Probably. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. And then there was that shit that I told you about. The um, it was like this giant in the yeah. ocean. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking herself up everywhere. This is dangerous. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a a, a clip where you're fucking yourself up everywhere. You know what? In I'm la mesa. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh. it's like there's this giant in the. In the mountain. And oh, I, yeah, I did hear yeah, about that shit. Yeah, and then it's this You saw that? Al vato. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like there's things, but, yeah. you know. There's this one guy that created, like, a a, a car that mm -hmm. runs on water. Oh, yeah, the well, there was Well, there was two. Yeah. A white guy and a black and, guy. And then they got and they rid both, of the black dude. Yeah. Supposedly, I think the black guy supposedly committed suicide Bush. during that week. Yeah. After announcing it. Hey, we better shut the fuck up before they come and get her Hey, too. all I'm saying is that her name is... No, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my name? You don't know my government name? <laughs> Putting you on blast shit. Yeah. Like, hey. well, that's exactly why I don't give people yeah. my government name. Because yeah. then they'll be like, oh, so and so and it's so, so is so, right so, here. So. Pillow talking on the fucking couch. We're going to put her... Um, her social right here. Everything. Her fucking... You're gonna put my art of work? Uh, <laughs> the low right? The low low. That shit. What kind of uh, environment were you uh, raised in, by the way? I was raised in the hood. In the hood. Big mm. hood, big hood. No, not big hood. I feel like there's ghetto or places yeah. than where I was raised, but... What do you consider that you were, uh, ra like, raised, uh, in, like, in a tough neighborhood or, like... Yeah, yes and no. Like, I feel like there's kids that have it tougher, you know? I mm -hmm. feel like there's places that are definitely tougher than where I grew up at, but, I mean, it wasn't the nicest, neither, yeah. you feel me? But, I mean, I grew up, like, with, culturally, I grew up with, like, um, African Americans and Hispanics, so... I mean, from that place, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Because I was also from that area as a kid. Mm -hmm. Uh, to be more specific, from 60 in Normandy. Okay. So I was I lived like a block away from the swap meet where Nipsey used to sell yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I used to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when he used to sell that shit, but I didn't. I mean, back then, you don't know who the yeah, fuck yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, who that I used was, to go yeah. and see my, like, go see it, my Pokemon cards. And yeah, shit. yeah. But it was me as a kid having my, my, yeah. my little run to the swap meet, you know? Yeah. So, like, I feel like... Um, that's the culture over there. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like maybe that neighborhood was even rougher than where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Originally. Originally. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. How, yeah. Well, if, what's, if they're, like, usually this is, uh, I think, the first time that I am asking somebody. Uh-huh. I don't know if you have seen those videos where, like, a person tells, like, says something, like, inspirational. You know I have nothing inspirational. So if you want to say something say. inspirational, such as like, he's like in the midst of the hood. What did don't you, eat meat. Don't eat meat. Make sure that you eat healthy. Worry about your. Uh, I don't know. Like inspirational. I just feel like. <sighs> Damn, I don't know. It's kind of tough because I feel like people. For me, like if you have a dream, chase that shit. I feel like a lot of people don't dream. That they're so focused on reality that they forget about their dreams. Everybody has a dream. So that's my inspirational thing. I remember my mom told me one time, you dream too much. And I told her, well, you don't dream enough. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel message. like... Message. Message. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like from where we're raised, like, we're just... We think it's normal. Like, I feel when I was younger, I would always be like, I never want to leave the hood. 
I, this is this is me like this is the type of lifestyle I want to have and this and this and this and that but there's so much more to that mm -hmm. you know and I feel like people get like so stuck in that mindset and in that lifestyle that they don't realize like fuck the world is fucking beautiful like there's so much more out there than what we have when did you realize that as I got older as I got older and after I had my kid and I was like actually going places and I'm like wow like there's like a whole world outside yeah. of where I'm from, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like, I think people just get stuck in that cycle of like game banging and, you know, selling drugs mm -hmm. and, you know, doing what you have to do to eat. To survive. That's, yeah. That's basically what people are doing, you know? Yeah. Like you got to do what you got to do to eat. But what, and I respect it. I respect everybody's hustle, but I feel that you have to do it with a goal at the end. Like easy money is good you know it's never good money but it's just easy and it's like what are you gonna do with that easy money mm -hmm. like you have to find a way out do you feel like there's no reason to be living that lifestyle and be stuck in that lifestyle no i feel like if you're making enough you gotta bounce you gotta right bounce. after yeah you gotta be smart about yeah, that shit i feel like you have to invest your money and i feel like, like a lot of people don't be taking advantage of that shit because they, a lot of people do have that shit but they're so in love with the lifestyle with the lifestyle yeah, i think that i think it comes with like an adrenaline you feel mm -hmm. me because even with me at work like, that is true if i don't make shit today but tomorrow i'm racking up two racks i'm like Ooh, they just motivate you. i got that bag i gotta you know? come tomorrow it's like damn i gotta pay this tomorrow how am i gonna make it mm -hmm. oh shit like yeah i just got this food for like you know yeah yeah i feel like it comes with an adrenaline but at some point, you have to know when to walk away. Because yes. There is an exit, guys. You just have to kind of find yeah. your motivation. You got to find your goals in life. Mm -hmm. You got to find what you want to be, what you want to reach. Yeah. And without that, it's a little bit hard because you're just like settling yeah. for what you have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you could have all the racks that you mm -hmm. can get there. But if you don't have like that place to be like... I want this to get this yeah. or to get to this place. Mm -hmm. You're just stuck. There. You're just stuck because you have to have a goal. Mm -hmm. There has to be a goal. Yeah. Like you could do all the bullshit that you want, but there has to be a goal at the end. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do it because they want to take care of their moms. Yes. You feel me? Like, damn, I saw my mom struggling. Okay, cool. Now you're taking care of her. So what are you going to do to care to take care of yourself? Because you go to jail, you end up dead. Mm -hmm. Who's going to take care of her then? That is true. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's you, crazy. You, but but the age that you have right now, mm -hmm. um, what do you, do? Do you still have a certain goal that you want to reach? I feel like I'm gonna always have goals. Mm -hmm. I'm not a person that settles, mm. and I feel that that's why it's been, hunger. You have hunger. Yeah, I for feel more. yes, and I feel that that's why I'm also not in a relationship because I feel like so many people are comfortable where they're at, mm. and I always make a goal for myself. And once I reach that goal, I'm happy for a little bit, but then I'm like, what's next? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Which is hunger, like, like yeah, I said earlier. Yeah, like I constantly want something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it's just I feel like no matter how old you are, you should always have a goal. Do you feel like you want to do find that person, but that has like that certain ambition? Oh, hell to yeah. reach for more and we'll more and more. fucking take over the world. Yeah. yeah. Because if you're as hungry as me, like, we're going to do beautiful things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, for me, it's like, I also want somebody that's going to teach me something that I don't mm. know. And I'm going to teach you something that you don't know. So we're going to learn together. And I don't, you know, that's... Has somebody have, has somebody come close to that? No. I feel like I've had somebody teach me. Mm. But they taught me how to hustle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They, but there was no, like, exit out of that shit. There was no future in that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like... Did you capture that shit fast, right away? Oh, or? I knew from the beginning because he let me know from the beginning. Mm. So I always respect somebody that tells me what their intentions are mm. with me. You know, like... He told me, like, we're not going to be together. Like, that's just not the type of person that I am. Like, I'm not going to be in a relationship. But he taught me a lot. Mm. You know, and I'll take I'll take what I what I learned from him, and I applied it, and he taught he taught me how to hustle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and mm. that's just what that was. But I learned something. Yeah, I feel like you have to teach me something. Mm -hmm. You know? Would you say that you're the type of person that wants that type of excitement? 
Oh, well, yeah. In a relationship? I feel like I need excitement. Yeah. I get fucking bored fast. Really? Yeah. I'm like, I need excitement. Yeah. I need, what are we doing? Like, Are there a lot of girls like that? I feel like there's a lot of people like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like everybody needs, Because even men, right? Yeah. I feel like you need to spice it up. You yeah. feel me? Like, I feel like you both need to, like, you change every day. Mm. You have to change together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mm. feel like... I'm, I like this today. I might not like it tomorrow. Mm, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. Like, years pass by, you change. Like, yeah. it's crazy that you don't change because yeah. you're stuck, you know? you. I would say that you admire that type of person that grows. Yes. Constantly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You have to grow, I feel. You yeah. Have to. No, that's very good. Yeah. That's a very good, like, point of view that yeah. you have. So, I feel like, let's let's do something. Like, mm-hmm. we could be serious, but we also have, a, have to have a good time. Yeah. Because it can't just be, like... You know, work, 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 and no yeah. fun. Like, yeah. who wants to... Uh, for me, like, I feel like I just can't live, like, in a... Like, I'm doing the same shit every day. Oh, so you're not a routine person. <laughs> I'm not. I'm oh, really not. shit. I need that, to have something different, you know? That, that is... That, 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 that's... It's a nigga that has money, to be honest. <laughs> you know, because you got to be like, oh, let's go over here, let's yeah. go over here, let's like, do, do this. He tells me, pack a bag right yeah. now. I'm packing that motherfucking yeah. bag. You know, no questions asked. Yeah. You know, but it's like, yeah, like, I need to not have, I can't have a routine. Like, that shit drives me nuts. Yeah. I mean, if you, I, it's if, good, but it's also like. like because it's, it is organized, I would say. Yeah. It's organized, but as I said, you, I mean, and as I said, there's nothing wrong with that shit. Mm-hmm. You're just a person that gets bored real quick. Yeah. And you want, like, excitement. And you yeah. want, like, try something new. Yeah. Which is dope. It's dope because you're, like, as I said, you have this certain goal. And I feel like you're that type of person that if you reach that goal, you're, like, you know what? What's next? Like yeah, you said. exactly. I just feel like I'm a free spirit. Mm-hmm. And I just can't be, like, in one place doing the same yeah. shit. Like, I got to be doing different things. And that's my problem. Like, I'm so curious. Mm-hmm. And I'm co- I constantly want to learn shit. Like mm. I'm like okay, like how does this work mm-hmm. or how does that work? And I feel like I just be like, Ugh. like I feel like sometimes I'm all over the place yeah. just because I just like I can't be stuck to one thing. You know, girl, you need to go to the library. <laughs> shit, there's a lot of information right there. Yeah, I mean I have, yeah. I read. Yeah. You know? uh, what's the best book that you have ever read, by the way? Right now, I'm um, reading The Richest Man in Babylon, mm-hmm. and I really like it. I heard about book. that. I heard yeah, about that. Really what is it about, book. though? Like, I heard about it. I never like, said I knew what was it about. Yeah, so it's, that's what I'm asking. It's kind of like a, a book that shows you how to like create wealth. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's about this guy who grew up with the same people, yeah. but he just happened to have more than the people that he grew up with. Oh, okay. okay. So the people were like, how Hating is it? That shit. Not hating, but they were, like, wondering, like, how yeah. is it that we come from the same place and you have so much more than us and we're barely making ends meet? There's a lot of people that are like that, and I would say that they're lazy. Because yeah. instead of saying, I want to do that, I'm going to follow that example, mm-hmm. they're just wondering about how come I don't have it. But how can they follow an example that they know nothing about? That is true, too. You know what I'm saying? But... As I said, there's information everywhere. Because you could see me, and you could see yeah. me making fucking money. Yeah. But if you don't know how to make it... I'll ask you. How are you going to make it? Exactly. Yeah. So that's how it happened. They asked him. Oh, okay, They were okay. like, why? Now I get why you say that it wasn't like a hating yeah. type shit. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, why? We don't understand. So yeah. um, basically the king had him, because he was one of the mm-hmm. wealthiest persons, to come and speak to these people. So mm. they're like, there's land, there's everything. There's like, you can acquire land here. Yeah. Why don't you have the means to get it? Mm. So then he started like telling them like, look, when you start working, you pay yourself first. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean? You get your check, you put 10% away. That is true. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. always pay yourself first. And then after you pay your bills yes. and then you pay whatever the fuck. And then if you have to minimize your lifestyle, you have to be uncomfortable. Yeah. If you're not uncomfortable, how can you, you know? Yeah. So basically he was telling them like, you have, you have to get uncomfortable. You have to pay yourself 10% first before anything, Mm -hmm. you know? And then once you get that 10%, like do that shit for a year, what is that 10% going to give you? Yeah. You have to give that 10% direction, Mm -hmm. you know? So invest it. Instead of keeping it, yeah. Exactly. Invest it. If Mm -hmm. it's sitting there, no te va a servir. So you invest it. And then from that, it's going to grow babies. And then those babies have to feed that baby. Yeah, assets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Hey, that's shit. So it's a pretty good book. Yeah. Yeah. Are you you almost done with it? No, I'm not. 
Halfway? Kind of. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I'm, you sh- I'm, I'm kind of there, you know? And that shit does motivate you, huh? It does, because I feel like, like, this is how I feel like, you get money, but then it's like, no, they don't teach you at school. They don't. They the don't be teaching you shit. With money. I was just talking about that shit, and not even about <laughs> money. They don't teach you how to survive. They don't. They like, just teach you bullshit because yeah. look who created the school system, Rockefeller. Why yeah. the fuck? Because he wanted to create fucking slaves that were going to be slaves to the check. They say that, um, I don't know if you have heard this shit, but they say that the church was built for the women, like for the wife. Mm-hmm. The schools were built for the kids. Yeah. And I don't. I forgot what was built for the men. I don't know what it was. I don't, I'm not sure if it was work. But it was something. And it's just like to keep everybody distracted with Yeah. Something. It's like, this is what I tell people all the time when mm-hmm. they're like, oh, it's because life, this and this and this and that. I'm like, being broke is a setup. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Yeah. Being broke is a that setup. That is true because I was wondering about that shit yesterday. I was like, why the fuck? And look, as I said, I know it's a struggle sometimes. I know it is. Yeah. But there's jobs everywhere. There's money there's everywhere. There's money you everywhere. You just have to know how to You get just it. know how to... Exactly. Exactly. And they just like the people that don't have that mindset. They're like, oh, well. Yeah, kinda... like they just see one thing. It's I've like never, tunnel vision, you know? I've never... I've never... Mm-hmm. I've never... Like, it never crossed my mind. This sentence. Like, oh, the economy's down. Never. Yeah. Because there's always... And when the economy's down, motherfuckers are winning. Yeah, that's the thing, you yeah. know? Shit. Yeah. Go to the mountain, take a fucking 32-pack of water, <laughs> $2 each. There you go, right? Yeah. Right? That's take true. a fucking bucket of you'll ice. You'll find a way. Like, you'll find a way. You'll yeah. Find a way. Yeah. That's how I don't know if you see this shit. I saw uh, Paletero in the beach inside the... <laughs> the water? Uh, I don't yeah. know if you saw that shit. This is what I was like, hustling that. Yeah. You know, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy, though, because I went to Lake... Wait, which one? Laughlin? Laughlin? That's where Arizona and California are uh-huh. meet, right? So um, I went, and it was fucking hot. Yeah, I started paletero too, like with his coco. He knew what the fuck yeah, was. Yeah, with his mangos. He He's knew like, what... these motherfuckers come from out of state. Like, yeah. You know, we're going to sell this shit. And yeah. Yeah. Pinche calorón. Un manguito. Rico. Pues así la cosa. I did, I did go to buy a fucking... Uh... Oh, today, because I knew you were going to come. So mm-hmm. in the morning, I got out of work at 6. Mm-hmm. By the way, I slept two hours only, so I don't know what yeah. the, how the fuck am I awake. Yeah. So, oh, because I had coffee. Es que está buena la conversación. Sí. <laughs> but um, I was I bought like a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of waters, mm-hmm. and I do own a business. So the lady was like, "Damn, you wasted like because I think I wasted like, almost like three hundred something mm-hmm. with the liquor stuff." Mm-hmm. And the guy behind you me. You didn't waste like, it. You spent I it. I spent it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I invested it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So, I like that shit. <laughs> so um. The guy was like, no, you think that he just got it? He's going to double it. And I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck do you know? You know? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, because I do like a 30, a 30, uh, a 32 pack. I yeah. think I got like three for $10. Mm-hmm. And each water I sell him like for a yeah. dollar. So let's say one, ba- one, one, one pack is like $32 right yeah. now. So I'm like, yeah, that is true. Yeah. And with that pack, I could get like fucking like three more, uh, Nine more packs. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I get what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't uh, tell her nothing. I was just like, oh yeah, just yeah, charge me that yeah, shit. Yeah, just charge. It. Charge <laughs> just it to charge the that card. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> charge Ugh. it to the game. <laughs> and then I'm scared to fucking check the balance. Fuck. Yeah, hey, it'd be like that too. I'd be like, I don't even want to check that shit. I don't yeah. want to check that shit. No, but as I said, I I am fucking surprised about like, cause you say that you you like shit. You know, like, are you like a person that goes to the mall? Or? I don't actually. You don't. You like I to don't. save your shit. I, I I mean, I, I'll splurge, but, like, for me, it's, like, food. Mm. For me, it's, like, food. Or, like, I now I'm a little bit more careful with my money mm-hmm. just because of the simple fact, like, how I told you earlier. Like, I don't want to be in that same mindset where I'm, like, I'm just going to make it tomorrow. Mm. Okay, I see. You know what I'm saying? So, I do save my money, and, um, like, I give my money direction. You know, mm. like when I make money and I pay myself first now, yeah. I pay myself my 10%. And then from that, like I have like some stuff going on where I'm like, okay, I'm going to put this aside for yeah. this. And I'm like, the, you're going to be for this. Mm-hmm. Like I talk to my money because yeah. it's fucking energy. We're exchanging yeah, that is it. True. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you're, you're for this. And then yeah. whatever I have left, it's like, you're for this. Mm-hmm. And then like. I have a San Juditas mm-hmm. that I put money to, like, whatever loose money I have que no yeah. alcanzó a ser de 100, mm-hmm. like, I'll put it to him, 
And my pact with him is that whatever is left there, whenever I go to TJ, I hand it out in La Línea. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. I have, like, I feel like this is how I feel. I'm going to go sell chicles. No, you can't sell. You got to <laughs> give. You got to give. La mano que da nunca va a estar vacía. Yeah, that is you know true. That saying? is true. So it's like, for me, as long as whatever I believe in helps me, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to give back from whatever I put. To mm. that person or to that santo. You believe in the whole uh, universe, like um, like what you said. Yeah, like good karma, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's like yeah. good karma type shit. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like if I give more, I'll be blessed. Yeah, and I've no, I've I've seen that shit because every time like let's say like little deeds and shit, cause yeah, if I do see like something like let's say if uh somebody pays me a little bit extra, I'll be like, hey, like you give me an extra, yeah. you know, like. But it's cool because like, I always get it back. Yeah, yeah. And it's just that type of energy. You yeah. Know? And I always like to pay more. Like, mm-hmm. if you tell me, oh, it's $50 for this, I'm going to Hey, give are 60. you a big tipper when you go like to? Yeah, you? always give Because you know what the fuck it is. You know what the fucking. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I always give 20%. Even oh, if okay. it was a fucking terrible service. Yeah. I'll give the 20%. Always. Yeah. Because I worked at a restaurant before. That's how me and him met. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. I used to work at a restaurant. So, um, yeah. Like, I know what it's like to fucking hustle. You yeah. Know? So, I respect it. So, since you have that, like, bad day, like, fuck. Yeah. Some, yeah, everybody has a bad day. As long yeah. as you don't spit them on the fucking food. Hey, uh, <laughs> so you were saying that your day was hectic as fuck. It really was. You want to talk about it? Uh, yeah, uh, not, not really. I had some family stuff going on. Oh, that's go, go, why. Go so, it was kind of like a... You know, it was just some family stuff that I had to be there and be focused mm. for. And then, like, on top of that, like, you have your daily shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you, it, it's kind of hard, like, to be in 20 places at one time, mm. you know? So, I had the situation with my family. And then, um, I had to, like, be a mom, take mm. my kids to school, come back. Like, and then I had my own personal shit going on, like, my school. So, it's it was, like, a very hectic morning yeah. for me. Well, morning and day, you know? Mm. And what are you studying for, by the way? I'm studying to be a physical therapist. Oh, that's yeah. dope. Yeah. How long how long do you have left for Ugh, that? Oh my god, too long. I, really? I I kinda of feel like giving How that. long does it take for you, like let's say to to make that decision, I wanna be this? How long how long is the process? I feel like it depends on you, you know? I, feel, you like, huevos. I feel like it just depends on the person. Like I feel like there's some people that come straight out of high school and they're like, This is what I wanna be mm. and that's what they wanna be. You know, and for me, it's like all I knew was work. Yeah. Oh, so I, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like all I knew was like you gotta get a job. Yeah. You, you gotta pay bills. You gotta get insurance. Yeah. You know that's, that is true. All of that shit. Yeah, that's all I knew. Yeah. And for me, it was like. And you cannot get enough classes because of that. Like you can. Yeah, because like, yeah. you have to work. Mm-hmm. And for me, but I always knew like that's not the life I want. Like mm. I don't, I don't know what I, I don't know what I want, but I do know that I don't want this. Final question. What's your main purpose that you feel in life? I feel like, you know when you feel like you're gifted and you're here to do something big? Yeah. That's how I feel. Like, I don't know what the fuck it is, Mm -hmm. but I know that I'm not born to be a mediocre person. And it's a good feeling. Yeah, it really is. It really is Mm -hmm. because I'm like, I, I don't know, but there's something in me that is just not meant to be a normal person. And I've said it and I've said it time and time again. And that's just not the life that is for me. Mm -hmm. And I feel it. Like I feel that shit in my gut, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe y'all see me like be famous, like January 6, 9 one day, you know what I mean? But, but it's just Don't forget about those photos. Of course not. All right. You know? Yeah. This is his. But yeah, I do appreciate you for coming to the podcast. Thank you. You know? And this is for you from when you get hungry. Oh, nice, nice. It's like a, Look, we're going to put it right here. Yeah, it's like a gel spread, but there instant. There we go. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's dope, that's dope. Oh, that's dope. That's dope, right? That's dope as fuck. Hey, who, uh, that's his? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Look, boom. We're, we're going to ta- we're gonna tag him, you know? We're going to tag. Do you have an Instagram for this? Okay, we're going to tag it right here. So you guys go follow it. Make sure you hit him up. And we're going to try this shit right, like, you want to try I want to try that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and I do have La Oya right there. Hey. But yeah, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. So yeah. Uh, thank you so much, CZ. Thank you. For coming to the... Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. I appreciate that a lot. Actually. I hope that you had fun. I did. Yeah. I had a really good time. So yeah, we, we, have, we, we have cello. Cello. Chinos <laughs> here. We have cello. Hey, I'm not trying to burn up. Hey, yeah, I'll keep you here with the logo. We have cello here with yeah. the spreads. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's cello? That's not cellos. <laughs> Hit up Chile for the spreads right here. Yeah. Dope. 
Uh, I like the fucking packaging. Fuck it's dope. dope. It looks right? dope. It looks dope. It looks dope as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It, it says no crushing, no mess. Just add hot water. Mm-hmm. Cooks in minutes. And then if you want to go real like gel yeah. lifestyle, you add your mayonnaise, your oh, okay. mustard, okay. your hot sauce, your squeezed cheese. I got all of that. Your sliced jalapenos. I got that. Okay. <laughs> your beef sticks. The can of chili beans. Everything. You, you got gel without going to jail right there here. There we go. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For those fools wondering how it tastes like, there you go. Right here. Yeah. You want the gel experience? Right <laughs> <here>. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, make sure that you follow her. I'm going to put her name uh, in the beginning of the podcast like <laughs> I always do. I'm also going to tag Chile, you know. Uh, cool uh, person, you know. The, the vibe that he gave me was pretty dope. So we might have him on the next podcast. <laughs> you never know if he's down with that shit, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank okay? you. Yeah, we'll say peace. Bye, uh... You know what I'm saying? That's how we get the attention. That's how we grab the attention. Oh, he must be different. Yeah, we different. We pimps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all human.